All right, everybody. So I'm just waiting for people to come in, but um, I'm just uh, feeding the tank right now. And I'm going to do a water change. And today we're going to try to tackle on the algae problem that's growing on my green slimer. Because on one side, it's starting to grow. Well, the algae is starting to outcompete with the coral itself. And I'm getting tired of looking at that. And if I don't fix it now, I know pretty soon down the line, it's very possible that the algae is going to outcompete the coral. So we're going to definitely do something about that early before it really becomes a problem. Hey, Reef and Recon, thank you for joining, bro. Yeah, today I'm just going to do a little bit of water change, but I'm going to lower the water level. Um, probably a little bit before before the, what do you call it, the milli. But I'm going to lower the water level right here, and then I'm going to kill the algae using a little bit of uh, the hydrogen peroxide. So. That's something we're going to do right now. Um, I'm just using this brand. I guess it's the, the Rite Aid or whatever. But use any brand of hydrogen peroxide. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go in there and use a pipette to try to put some drops of hydrogen peroxide on this side of the coral. Just that that side of the coral is kind of not doing so good. And I noticed that coral gets a lot of um, algae getting stuck on it and stuff. So... I'm going to try to go in there and tackle it. All right, hold up, guys. Hey, thank you for joining, though, man. Damn. All right. All right. So, like I said, I just fed the tank a little bit just to... Um, Buy off some time real quick, and then first off, I'm gonna start off with uh, cleaning that that sponge because yesterday I did another feeding. You see, all that's still stuck in there. And if I don't remove it, I'm just gonna have a nitrate problem. Bam! <laughs> nice, right there. It's about to fall off the table. go uh, yeah I'm just gonna give it a, like about a minute or so to clear up does peroxide affect the salt water um, it doesn't it doesn't bro like if you just throw it in there you're gonna start reacting the, the peroxide is gonna start reacting with the different cells in the water so you might kill some algae but at the same time you might end up killing some tissue of the coral so, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the water level down. Once the water level is right here, I'm going to add drops of peroxide at the edge of the, where the algae is growing on this coral. Because I know for a fact, if I don't do something about that algae, it's going to kill that green slimer. Um, but I'm going to use a pipette. I'm not just going to straight up throw it in there. I think if you do throw a little bit of peroxide in the water, it might help with the algae. But like I said, you might start... Um, Reacting with tissues of the of the corals and stuff. That and you're definitely gonna be killing some uh, some biology in the water. I mean, some bacteria in the water. But um, yeah, man, just stay tuned, man. I'm, like I said I'm gonna do a water change to lower it down, and then once the water level's down, I'm definitely gonna add some some peroxide and see how that goes. And if I see it's working, then I might do it a second time in the future. Hey, Rainer, what's up, G? Thank you for joining, man. All right, Rainer. All right, Rainer, let me give you the rundown. So I'm just going to use a little bit of peroxide on my coral on the green slimer because of the the algae's growing on it. I mean, I, I don't know if you could tell, though. It's hard to tell because the camera doesn't really pick it up. But on the right side, you can see the algae's killed some of the coral on the on the, on the the right side. And then on this side... The coral looks nice and healthy. You see that? But you can see some strands of algae on it, and I'm getting tired of that. I've been, th I've been thinking about doing it with this guy, but this guy is a straight-up tissue. If I do it on this guy, I will kill the tissue, and I don't want to do that. But, um, yeah, I mean, but the corals are doing good. <laughs> Obviously, look at this guy. The Bauer Bankies, man, they almost look like uh, 
what do you call them? Uh, the Scoldies. <laughs> Even though they're not Scoldies no more, supposedly. But, oh shit. Yeah, my bad, guys. The fucking, I clicked out of the, the phone real quick. My bad. Oh, let me know how the audio is doing. Also, I forgot to ask you guys about the audio. I always ask now because I'm on StreamYard and the audio on StreamYard is sometimes iffy. But you see the algae on this guy? I can't do it on this guy because then I'll kill the tissue straight up. But on the green slimer, not on this side, but on the other side, it's it's just skele dead skeleton. So I'm just going to throw it on the skeleton itself. Then this guy, the PC Rainbow is doing good. The Dragon's Breath is doing good, but it ha also has a little bit of an algae issue. And that's why I hate algae. Because you look, you see that this guy just picked up a strand of algae floating in the water current. And all this algae is coming from this shit right here. I might remove the clown. I mean, screw the clowns, and I might just get rid of that algae right there. It's fine. Wait, I don't know if I put that. Okay. It's fine trying to get it on the coral. Yeah, I'm going to use a little pipette and put it right there on the right side because you can see the algae maybe. I mean, I can't zoom in when I'm on StreamYard, but if I don't do something about that algae, it's definitely going to kill my coral for sure. Audio is a little worse than last time. God damn. Hold on. Let me go to my audio thingy. All right, is the audio still bad? Let me know. Yeah, I, I don't know if I really like StreamYard. I mean, it's cool because I get to put you guys' comments and stuff, but at the same time, the audio's worse compared to just going through through uh, YouTube and shit. I'll wait until you guys... Uh, but yeah, I, I try to adjust the audio right now. Let me know if it's good or if it's still bad. Fuck, my bad, guys. There might be a slight echo in the room, so I don't know. Damn. I guess, I don't know. Maybe I just won't do as much talking. <laughs> But let me know how the audio is, guys. Um, damn, I know I always ask you guys. Reef and Recon, I hear you fine. All right, Re Reef and Recon, we're going to go off you, bro. Uh, thank you for letting me know, man, because I, I always trip out on the audio because the first time I did StreamYard, man, the audio was so horrible. I almost felt like deleting that video. And the hydrogen should dilute quickly in the water. It doesn't matter. Try to pick off the algae near corals. Yeah, for sure, Rainer. And like I said, I'm not going to add this directly to the water, all right, guys? Um, <laughs> I'm going to expose a coral to air and then start um, putting drops of peroxide on it. I'll try to get a close-up. <laughs> hopefully, I don't drop my phone in the water. Well, actually, maybe I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll hold the phone and then I'll, I'll I'll show you guys while it's reacting and stuff. But I'll think of putting the tripod over the fish tank and then, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I have bad luck with, with getting my phone wet. But anyways, um, so let's, let's start off by removing that sponge. You see how it's dirty? That was from last night's feeding. I was going to clean it out last night, but then I got lazy again. And then, yeah, shit happens. All right, so let me grab some of the, well, let me grab that sponge, rinse it out, and then we're going to start that water change.
All right, cleaned it up. So I'm just going to put the sponge back in and we're going to get started, guys. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the water flow. There it is. I'm gonna let it settle down for a little bit. Oh yeah, guys, a uh, chemistry question. Well, two chemistry qu questions. How come they put the hydrogen peroxide? Like we're not sponsoring. No. <laughs> How come we put the hydrogen peroxide in the black bottle? And then the second question is, um, what two elements break down? Uh, so H, so hydrogen peroxide is H two O two. What two elements results after the chemical reaction from hydrogen peroxide? If you remove algae with hydrogen, I take a syringe and do it underwater and let my fish clean off the algae. Uh, I don't have a syringe though, bro, <laughs> but I do know what you mean. And I, I know you might be able to get away with dosing some hydrogen peroxide in the water to try to kill algae, but you might start killing other shit you don't want. Wasser. The cockwasser thing. I'm not too sure what you mean, bro. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm going to start. I got my bucket to take out water. And like I said, we're going to take out some water. Do a water change in the bottom. Damn, dude, I see algae that's always getting on my nerves. No, if, uh, the cockwasser won't really kill. I mean, the cockwasser, what the fuck I'm talking about? The hydrogen peroxide, it's not going to kill the fish. You're, you're going to kill the my, microbial level. I mean, the the algae and anything that's a cellular level, you're going to kill that shit first. All right. So we're going to start taking out water. Put this this way right there. I think hopefully you still see it. Yep. All right. So I'm going to try to get rid of some of the water. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm just doing a water change to lower down the water level. Yeah, so this algae kind of grows like in a mat almost. Which is pretty easy because I could just gather it in one spot and just throw all that shit out.
All right, so I'm almost near the coral. I'm just messing with the sand now. Just to... I don't know. Do some stupid shit. Like I said, I'm going to take that little lump of algae out right now. I made two little lumps. Alright, so the coral's starting to get exposed to water, I mean the air. I wanted to hit the bottom of the frag club. Okay, that's good enough. So the millie's a little bit exposed, the little tip of the millie. the sand off the corals real quick. Hey Atkins, what's up, G? Thank you for joining, man. Um, today I'm just basically gonna try to get rid of the algae that's growing on my green slimer. That's really what I'm doing. And like I said, you gotta make sure your coral is always kind of wet <laughs> or moist or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of the algae growing on the green slimer. Sorry, I moved the fucking camera and shit. I just gotta really see where the algae is at. So I'm gonna grab the pipette from my uh, what do you call this shit? The refractometer or refractometer? I don't know what to call it. All right. And then this is a, this is actually a new bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And like I said, if anybody answers why it comes in a black bottle and what two elements produce after the reaction of the peroxide or What's being formed as the products of the H2O2? Put it down, and then I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you if you're right or not. Or just stay tuned, and I'll tell you at the end. All right. Like I said, it's a new little bottle, so I have to open it. I'm, let's say I'm going to grab the little pipette, and then this is my... I can't really, I gotta concentrate, guys.
All right. It's definitely working. I hear it react. So, I mean, it's not a violent reaction, but I definitely hear it react. Water and oxygen. Rainer, you're right. It does produce water and oxygen. So now, I, now the question is, why is it in a black bottle? Hydrogen peroxide turns to water and oxygen. Yeah, it's uh, liquid water and oxygen gas, if you want to be really correct. And when it contacts with water because it's just an extra, extra oxygen ion. Yep, that's very true. All it, all it is is the H2O2, and you produce oxygen gas and uh, liquid water. And I believe the black packaging is that no microorganisms develop. Uh, partially true, I guess, but that's not the correct answer. Um, there's other, there are other bottles that are also black, but why doesn't, why isn't the peroxide in a clear bottle? Let's say they they uh they bottle the thing. I'm guessing it's a black bottle because light deteriorating it. <laughs> uh, that's true, but that's not the correct words of putting it, because um, or it might be. Uh, it's just that it's not a biological substance, so it doesn't decay. But um, it's. It's, it's in a black bottle because light will make it react and it'll form the oxygen and the hydrogen quicker. So that's why it's in a black bottle. So you're right, Atkins. But definitely the light reacts with the H2O2 and then it'll, it'll break it down. So that's why they put it in a black bottle. All right, so I'm gonna grab my little... Uh, My interperoxyl brush or peroxyl brush from the dentist, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if they sell it, but all your dentists use it. And I'm going to get rid of all that algae that's freaking pissing me off at the certain points of the coral. All right. I'm actually going to dip it a little bit. Well, not dip it, but coat it a little bit. So I'm really tired of seeing the algae on there. I mean, even if I kill some of the polyps at the edge, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to rinse it out just in case there's extra peroxide and keep the coral moist. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop in some more peroxide on there. I said hopefully this shit works because otherwise the algae will kill the coral. I think I got some on the coral. Damn. Damn. All right, we're going to let it react for a little bit, and then I'm going to give it another scrubbing. Fuck it. Uh, 
Nice. Even the interproxal brush is reacting with the with the cellular cellular life on there. All right. Uh, let me bring you guys to the action. I said, hopefully I don't kill the coral. I mean, I know I'm, I might kill some of the coral on the edge, but fuck it. It's hard to get that angle and show it at the same time. Bam. I'm going to call that fucking a little successful surgery. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put some water on top of it. Right, so now I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to call that done and then see how it looks underwater. Well, actually, before that, let me see how the light looks on. Yeah, like I said, I might have disturbed the edge of it for sure. All right, I'm going to plug it in. I know I need a little bit more water, but I want to see where I'm at. I'll read you guys these comments. I saw some a comment about vodka or some shit like that. I'm just uh, a little bit too focused here.
Bam. There you go. So we accomplished two things. We did a water change and oh yeah, I definitely see a big difference on that coral. It's producing a lot of slime right now, which is kind of expected. We'll grab a turkey baster. Where the hell did I put it? Damn, honestly, guys, I noticed a big difference, actually. Now I, now I actually just see the skeleton of the coral where it died. I said, hopefully the, the green slimer recovers on that spot and just starts growing over it. All right, so why do people use vodka in reef tanks? I could tell you the theory, and then I could tell you what, why I don't fucking use that shit. So supposedly people use vodka for like some kind of carbon source for bacteria and shit. Uh, for not just any bacteria, for denitrifying bacteria that's going to form nitrates into nitrogen gas. But honestly, I think all that shit's fucking bullshit. Because if you really think about it, they use vinegar and you could use alcohol for for disinfecting wounds and shit. And basically, you're killing bacteria. So if you're dosing a lot of vodka in your aquarium, you could, you could form a... Uh, oh, shit. You form a mini cycle because you're killing also your beneficial bacteria at the same time. But that's why people dose vodka. Some people say vinegar, but like I said, I don't know why. I, well, I wouldn't be fucking. You're not gonna see me anytime soon doing that shit. Um, maybe if you have like a cyanobacteria outbreak, maybe dosing a little bit of vodka will help with the cyanobacteria. But still, I'm not someone that doses vodka or vinegar or anything like that in my aquarium. Today I bought two fish, a new goby that digs like crazy, and it's a big self-fing tank. Oh, and a big self-fing tank. Hey, what kind of what kind of goby? Engineering goby? Rainer, I use vodka. See, Rainer uses vodka. And like I said, if you have a, a lot of cyanobacteria, it might help with the vodka. I'm not sure. I haven't used that shit. I gotta get back to work. Alright, I can see you, bro. I do it to have more bacteria. Sugar works too. Yeah, like I said, um, people use sugar also, but like I said, I really don't know if if the bacteria is really growing. I mean, I haven't seen any slides uh, or any cultures of bacteria or any scientific names of any bacteria actually present in reef tanks to know. So I don't know. I said to me, it's, it's just a theory, but I really don't know. But definitely, if you have a nitrate problem, you just got to do some water changes for sure. Because um, even yesterday, they told me that I feed a lot. <laughs> they always see me feeding and lower my nitrate levels, but I never test my water, so I really don't know. But um, Sorry, I'm looking at my, my snails. Oh, yeah, so I really don't even know the any of the chemicals or concentrations of anything in my aquarium. I can do an instant bacteria bloom with vodka dosing. Uh, well, that's the thing, Rainer. Like, uh, I don't know if you're killing the bacteria, causing it cloudy, or or um, since some of the bacteria might have died in the water. That new one's starting to grow, or one another one took over. But I don't know. I don't. I don't use vodka because honestly, if you really think about it, vodka is just alcohol. You could use. Um, you can use anything. You can use tequila, fucking any of the hard liquors. Really, that are clear hard liquors. 
I don't see why it's just vodka. It's the same fucking chemical in the water. You're just throwing a whole bunch of concentrated alcohol and water in there. Because that's all it really is. All booze is. It's just alcohol and water. I don't see why you can't use um, clear tequila. Maybe even sake. What else is clear? Uh, damn, I don't know. <laughs> Bourbon is like a reddish color. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Anything that's that's the uh, that's clear. I don't see why you can't use. Like I said, I don't know why you, people just say vodka when you could use like tequila and shit. Vodka is cheaper. <laughs> it's cheap. Probably. Like I said, I don't really don't drink that much liquor, honestly. Um, I don't buy it. I'm trying to think of other hard white liquors, and I don't. Really, I really don't know. I don't know. But anything that's white and made of alcohol, like I said, all that, like if you throw alcohol on your wounds, it's going to disinfect it. So if you apply that to the to the tank, if you throw it in here, you're just going to be killing certain bacteria in the water or certain microorganisms in the water. So I don't know. And then, like, I'm looking at this guy. I'm not sure if that guy was like that right now or what the fuck. <laughs> but definitely there's some kind of reaction going on with this guy. Yeah, my uh, one of my frog spawns didn't like it, or I'm not sure if it was a slime of the green slimer that landed on it and it closed up a little bit. But from the looks of it, it looks pretty healthy. I can see the skin of that um, green, I mean the frog spawn looks pretty healthy. Like I said, the only problem I really have with this tank is just the fucking algae that's growing. Damn, I got some sand on my Roger Rampage. All right. <laughs> Like, this is the time where I really wish I had a bigger tank and I had a sea urchin or or some kind of yeah, uh, surgeon fish to eat all the algae off. Yes, every... Fuck, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Shinaps, something like that. Shinaps. Works is all about the carbon. It might, man. That's why it would probably be better just to use sugar. It's a lot of fucking carbon in that shit. Or a lot of hydrocarbons or whatever you want to call it. But if that's true, there's a lot of carbon in gasoline also. Henry, hey, Brenda, what's up? Thank you for joining Charlie's Reef. Hello, it's me, the person that's fighting hair algae. <laughs> hey, how big your tank is, Charlie? Um, I, you're, you're the new face that I'm seeing here. What's your uh, what size tank do you have, man? If you have a small tank like mine, this is this is a really small tank. It just looks big because of the proportions of the rock, but it's only a little. I don't know how many gallons. I think it's a 14 gallon. Yeah, it says 14 gallons. But re really, it's probably only like 12 gallons of water in here. Um, it's a small-ass fucking tank. And, um, but anyways, yeah, bro, tell me how big your tank is. But if you're fighting hair algae, the number one way is to grab a fish that eats it, like some kind of surgeon fish, or, or grab a, what do you call it, a sea urchin. And then the next best thing, if, you, if your tank's really small, only grab a sea urchin if it's a 30-gallon or more. 
But if you have a small tank, the best thing is actually adding a shitload of hermit crabs. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm probably going to add like 20 hermit crabs in here. Uh, it worked on my little tank. So if you look at my little tank over here, I threw in like a whole bunch of hermit crabs. This is a two gallon tank, but I threw in a whole bunch of hermit crabs. And now I really don't have any hair algae. I mean, I have a little bit because I took them out, but damn, <laughs> the rosters are closing up. But uh, I don't have a hair algae problem. You can still see some hair strands of algae right there. But um, definitely algae is a big problem, man. Um, there's like what? Like eight to seven. What do you call these? Um, Australia snails in here. I'm going to throw these little Australia snails over there and then. I might get another algae spike, but <laughs> fuck it, though, because like I said, I'm tired of looking at the algae. See, this tank looks pretty cool. I like this little tank more. Yeah, just give it time for the rosters to open up again. But damn, look at this. Everything looks pretty healthy. Even my little, uh, what do you call this, rainbow chalice. Damn, I'm sorry, guys. I got to clean the, the algae off the glass. But I love this little tank a lot more. And then I got the little fresh water. I got to I gotta do a water change on this water, on this uh, fresh water. But damn, I've been thinking about just using tap water, but I've been using purified water, though. But I, don't, I really don't like tap water here, honestly. But yeah, yeah. Um, let me know how big your tank is, bro, but that's what I would do. Fernie with the sauce. Henry, what's up, brother? Did you catch any fish? <laughs> oh, yeah, Fernie, bro, we lost a big-ass fish, man. Um, um, It bit the, the lure and everything, but the fish straight up went into the... I don't know if it hit underneath a log or a stick or something, and then it spit out the <laughs> it spit out the the jig that we were using, but it dragged some line, bro. It was a pretty big fish, and then what's crazy, bro? It hasn't rained here like in over fucking I can't remember the last time it rained like two, three, maybe four weeks, dude. And then yesterday it started raining, dude. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was some crazy shit. Ethanol works too. Yeah, Rainer, like I said, um, there's different carbon sources, but like I said, um, you got to worry about the, not just the chemical, um, the chemical properties, but also you got to think about the physical properties of every chemical. But I definitely get it. I mean, people dose a whole bunch of shit in their fish tanks. You know what I mean? Um, I don't re really use anything. Oh, talking about dosing, I got to put some iodine and um, trace elements in here. Around 200 liters. I was about to do the calculations by then. You wrote how many gallons? 52 gallons. Yeah, bro. Just add a add a sea urchin in there. Um, depending on what urchins you have, but I used to have two long spine sea urchins in a 65 gallon tank. And but yeah, man, try the sea urchin, man, if you can. And but if you can't acclimate a sea urchin, maybe try a a surgeon fish like a, a tang or something. But um, definitely. If my tank was bigger, I would throw a sea urchin in here, and then I wouldn't be having this problem with the algae either. Because if you look at it, the clowns are hosting algae right there. Um, <laughs> fucking snow. Sorry, guys, my snail fell. But, um, yeah, man, but definitely try your sea urchin, man. You're going to love that shit. Nah, I'm going to get the PO4 first. You're going to get phosphate first? Oh, I'm going to get the phosphate first. Hey, Charlie, um, do you gravel vac your sand bed, bro? Because I that's the number one source of like nitrates and phosphates is um, your sand bed might be dirty as fuck. Like, I'm not sure if you replay this live. I, I use a siphon tube right now to, to clear that shit out. But definitely, like I said, you're going to need a – sorry, guys. I'm looking at my Roger Ramp – I mean my Space Invader. But you're definitely going to need a – well, I recommend to 
gravel vac or sand bed, but um, that's what I would do first. And then check the chambers on your on your tank. I mean, your sump or whatever. You might want to clean that shit out too. But um, like I said, my favorite shit to do is just to throw in some sea urchins. I've learned to embrace algae in the beginning of my reef. I use macro algae to fight other uh, ugly al algaes. Yeah. Yeah, if I had like a little refugium in here, that would be pretty cool. I mean, some people said I could probably have one in the back, um, in one of my chambers, but I really don't want to do that shit. <laughs> but definitely a, a, a refugium definitely does help. I'm setting up an algae reactor. Yeah, I heard of that shit too. There's different algae reactors um, out there. I mean, that, that definitely does help. It'll compete with the existing algae, but like I said, sometimes um, you're not getting rid of the algae you want, but definitely an algae reactor works. I'm the worst lur lurker. Laugh loud. Can't stay away from chatting. Nah, bro. Keep keep chatting away, man. Tap water will bring some nutrients into the tank since you have almost no fish. Yeah, Rainer, I've been thinking about it, but dude, I've been smelling the tap water, bro. It almost smells like fucking. Um... Oh no, the best way I would have put it, it almost smells like petroleum and shit. So I've been kind of worried about it, but you know what? Fuck it, I might just end up doing it right now or. On my next live, doing a water change on that with tap water. But like I said, I definitely don't like adding tap water from the from where I'm at because it just smells pretty bad. My sump is pretty small, just eight gallons. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, I get it. Yeah, man. Maybe if it's clean, then you're good. But like I said, um, gravel vac your sand bed, man. Um, people are going to tell you not to, but I'm someone that recommends to do it. I had a macroalgae. Oh, yeah, but all the algae that you get in your tank, it comes from a, an existing aquarium or a frag plug. So let's say you get a new coral. There's algae that you're not seeing on the, with your naked eye, and you're introducing it to your aquarium. But that's pretty much how you get algae. You got to introduce it somehow. I had a macroalgae in the main tank. No fuse ne needed. You can also use a marine hang-on breeder box. Yeah, I've, I've done all that shit, um, Atkins, for sure. Not on this tank, but back when I used to experiment, I did a whole bunch of weird shit. But um, I think I just like to have something that's going to eat the algae straight up. But Like I said, the sea urchin has always, always been my best friend, man. <laughs> Thank you. Might try that. Yeah, give it a try, bro. Definitely give it a try. Like I said, um, nitrates and phosphates are pretty easy to lower down. Fucking clown. Or hold on. Uh. Fumble. I'm not going to lie, guys. Sometimes I feel like just buying a sea urchin and throwing it in here. And then once it eats up all the algae, fucking get rid of it. But I might. Oh, shit. I'm going I'm to use another thing that works is adding a whole bunch of hermit crabs. But I really don't like doing that shit. Because people that have big ass tanks, it, it doesn't make sense to add a shit ton of hermit crabs to your system. It'll be a lot better to add like a surgeon fish. And I can't stress it enough. Um, fucking um, sea urchins are the shit. For sure, though. I use tap water, but my tap is almost pure RO. Yeah, Atkins, you got some good source of water, man. I invested a lot in my RO filter. Yeah, Charlie's um 
Oh, shit. I don't have an RO filter here, but I do buy RO water. But in every place where I always lived, I always had a an RO filter for sure. Um, my last one was a double chamber membrane one. I really love those. What light do you use, by the way? Honestly, I barely found out what BTW means, that, so that's why I know what it means, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I'm using a little Kessel A80. See that? On both my aquariums. The fresh water one. Sorry, I have all the shit up here. The fresh water one, just a regular LED. But this one, it also has a Kessel A80. On this one, I'm running it. Oh, shit. I'm running it a little bit more bluer. The intensity is not. See, right here, I had it marked with the intensity. Oh, shit. The intensity was normally right here, but then I picked it up a little bit. But uh, <laughs> I hit the damn fucking desk, and then Ross is closed up again. But um, but you see, this tank's fucking solid, though, man. But um, yeah, I'm using Kessel's, uh, Kessel 880s. On this tank, honestly, I wish I had a either a second Kessel or that Kessel that has two outputs. It's like that. I don't know. I don't know how to describe. It. I don't. Know, I don't know the name of the fucking light, but I know it's a Kessel though. It has two little outputs on the same one, and I think that would be cool because it'll be like light here and a light here. But on this tank, like I said, I'm using the Kessel 80. The intensity is almost high. I have the intensity at where that little bit of white. Right here it hits. That's how I kind of marked. Well, I didn't mark it, but there you go. That's my reference right there. And on this one, I'm, I'm writing it a little bit more white. I mean, it's still mostly blue. Shit. But a little bit. Why is it not concentrating? Well, anyways, fuck it. It's almost blue, but like I said, it's a little bit more whiter than the other tank. But And no, I don't, I don't have a... I'm not using the light filter, so pretty much the color you see right now is a color that I see in person. I'm not, I don't have a light filter on my phone, or I'm not using a filter on my phone. I'm just using the regular camera lens without a filter. I have four Hermit Crams. Yeah, I mean, they're doing some work, but if you have a 50 gallon tank, you're going to need a lot more than four hermit crabs for sure. But like I said, um, try a sea urchin, man. You, you're not going to regret that shit. Well, unless you want coralline algae. So that's one thing I got to tell you. If you like your coralline algae, <laughs> the sea urchins are going to be eating some of that shit up. Uh, do you have an Acropora in that tank? Um, all right, so I got... Three acros in here. Well, four actually. No, three acros and one milli. So this is the green slimer that was right now trying to get rid of the algae that was growing right here because the algae is kind of out competing the fucking coral. But I got a green slimer here. This is a milli. It's a small little milli. This is a deep water acropora. And then um, I'm going to get out of the tripod. And then over here, I got a, a PC Rainbow. Oh, shit. Right there is a PC Rainbow Acro right there. And, oh, shit. And the polyps are out, even if even though I did the water change. But that's a PC Rainbow right there. Um, hopefully it grows. I feel like it needs a little bit more light, but fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that shit better adjust. And then this is a deep water Acro. And like I said, strands of algae fucking get caught on it. So like I said, I have a little bit of an algae problem, guys. And like I said, I always handled my algae problems with sea urchins. Sea urchins were like the shit or are the shit. Preferably, I really like the long spine sea urchins. I, I love all that long spines and shit. Uh, gives people something to talk about. Another one I like is probably like the blue tuxedo or... I don't know, some urchin like that, just because I like how they move or they put shit on top of them, uh, of the, on top of themselves. But me personally, I love the long spine sea urchins. Those are my favorite, the little black ones. But um, yeah, guys, but damn. Oh, yeah, but yeah, those are my two or four SPS coral in this tank. And then on this tank, I only got one. 
this is my I see how they open up and then I as soon as I open it the lid oh shit they start closing up but those are my rosters oh yeah so this is my rainbow millie I mean, but what the fuck am I saying? This is my rainbow Montipora. It's a uh, it has blue skin with the uh, reddish orange polyps. That shit's growing like crazy right here, and I don't even have that much water flow. That's what's crazy. But I put it right by the output right there. You see that shit? I might need to fill it up with a little bit more water in there, but um, it's pretty simple. Just a heater. These two cartridge cartridge filters I never change the return pump and then look at there uh, it's growing that fucking uh milk. i mean the montipora right there it's pretty solid man it's pretty cool ass little tank like i said i love this little tank but yeah those are all my sps coral but in terms of acros i got three of them um i might get rid of this guy i'm not sure if i really like it I mean, it's cool, but I just got it because it was a deep water acro for 10 bucks. But, like, uh, I might take it out and then replace it with something else. A Kessel A360X would be enough. I got 30 hermits. <laughs> In my big tank, 900 liters. Damn. What's 900 divided by four? Yeah, about about a hundred gallons. Oh, in my hundred gallons, I got four, but I will order some more. Yeah, take nine hundred liters and divide it by three point seven eight uh, liters, and you'll get how many gallons? In my one hundred gallon, I got four, but I will order some more. <laughs> yeah, Rainer, like I said, hermit crabs hella work. They definitely work for sure, but just that um. I don't know, man, because I uh, sometimes I'm a little bit iffy about adding a lot of hermit crabs in here. But like I said, I might have to, so I might end up getting like 20 in here. And a big hermit in my nano. Yeah. Hermit crabs, like I said, hermit crabs do work and shit. Um, but if you ask me about hermit crabs versus snails, I'll probably go with snails, but... Depends on what algae you got. Like snails, they keep everything trimmed down. But once you really have that thick algae, definitely the hermit crabs. I don't think I would get a sea urchin. My coralline algae just started growing. Maybe when my tank is filled with some more coralline. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, Charlie, man. Everybody doesn't want to, what do you call it? Everybody loves their coralline. Like if you look at my, my tank, it's filled with coralline. With the purple one. Even the little one, it has a lot of coralline in there. but. I'm someone that now after keeping everything alive and shit, I really don't give a fuck about the coralline anymore. But at the same time, that purple look of the core of the rock definitely um, is what attracts a lot of people. But um, try a try a tang, man. Try adding like a little surgeon fish in there. I mean, back then yellow tangs were pretty cheap, but. Um, Grab a different tang and don't eat a lot of your algae up, bro. Um, yeah, or what else eats a lot of algae? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I was thinking of adding a little blenny in here, but I'm like, nah, I'm not going to add a blenny. But, um, yeah, man, just pick a fish that eats a lot of algae. Oh, Charlie's Reef, Um, add a, a fox base rabbit fish. Add the yellow fox base. That shit eats fucking algae like crazy. Rainer, 237.75 gallons. Oh, yeah, so that's how big a nine, 900 gallon, I mean, 900 liter tank is. I have hermit crabs and snails. There are enough places for my snails to hide. Yellow tanks are so expensive now. Yeah, try, try a, I know tanks are, yeah, surgeon fish are expensive as fuck, especially the yellow tanks now. Um, but try a, like I said, try a fox face rabbit fish. Try that yellow one. The yellow one looks fucking cool. I don't know why the yellow one's cheaper, but I think the yellow one looks the best. Um, but get a little fox face, bro. That shit eats fucking algae like crazy, especially hair algae, man. You're going to see that. Sh you can see your algae gone fucking in no time. Charlie's Reef. Okay. Yeah, man. Give that a try, bro. 
self and tang or scopus yeah those are the only cheap ones uh i really like the self in or the giardini tanks self and tang self and tangs they look pretty similar those 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 things are pretty cool the scopus it's all right i mean i like i like all fish but from those two i'll probably get a self in but damn man even those guys have went up in price <laughs> But honestly, dude, I, I saw uh, Pecco. They were selling, uh, fuck, was it a purple tang? Or a naso? Fuck, I forgot what it was. I think it was a purple tang for like 130. I was, I was, damn, I was like, damn. I'll buy five of them. <laughs> oh, shit. I want a self in tang so bad, but not in my 10 gallon. Yeah. Atkins, you got the same problem as me, bro. This is only 14 gallons, and I feel like adding one just to eat up on my algae and shit. But, yeah, I feel you, bro. But the fish I really like, other than the... Well, I used to buy yellow tanks for the algae, but... Um, or blue tanks. But, like I said, the fox face rabbit fish, man, that shit's solid, man. I, I love those motherfuckers. And I like how the how they're poisonous and shit. I don't know. I just love everything about them. And like I said, I don't know why the yellow ones are cheaper, um, but I like the yellow ones more. I'll probably get like a nice school of rabbit fish. That'd be pretty badass. And my big hermit is the only one in my aquarium animals that survive the fire. <laughs> I got a big, a uh, kind of a biggish hermit crab in here somewhere. I mean, also. Fucking somewhere though, but um, yeah. But definitely, like I said, man. Uh, uh, everybody's gonna kind of run into an algae problem and then an aptasia problem. But the worst problem to get are definitely vermitted snails, man. That shit's fucking the worst. I hate vermitted snails. Once they establish, fuck, you're never gonna get rid of those shits. <laughs> And then you got to really watch out people that have vermitted snails and you buy the corals off of them. But yeah, man, there's a, a lot of things out there. Hold on, guys. Bam. I don't know. Just for the fuck of it, I don't think anybody's going to go on. Because I know everybody's working right now. But. Bam. I have three hermits in my tank and two snails. Yeah, that's a pretty good thing. Me, I, I probably need to add like 10 hermit crabs. I mean, there's already like five of them, six of them in here. And obviously, I still got an algae problem. Oh, and then I got like, what? I'm trying to think how many hurt. Uh, I got like six turbo snails in here. <laughs> they definitely make a difference, but fuck. Um, I might throw in the eight Australia snails from the other tank in here. Aptasia is slowly taking over my tank. Yeah, Atkins, I, I got that same problem. I got two little ones right here. I threw in a whole bunch of uh, hydroxide and baking soda on them, and I killed a lot of them. Like, I let the hydroxide <laughs> just stay on the rock. I don't even clean it up. I just leave it on a bucket, you know what I mean? Filthy Rich, how much did that setup cost? Uh, the tank itself was like 180. Let's just say 200 bucks. Um, that light is 130 on Amazon, but if you want the mount, 150. So you're already at looking at what 350 for just the tank and the light. The rock, you might end up spending depending on how much rock you put. Let's just say 
30 bucks, 20 bucks. Yeah, I just say 30 bucks. Uh, maximum 50. But like, let's say you waste like 30 bucks, so we're, we're like at what? No, let's just keep, let's just say $50 a rock just to make it even. So you're at 350 plus 50, so you're at 400 bucks. The sand, you could buy sand for cheap because I didn't use that much sand. You could probably use like 10 or 5 bucks of sand, honestly, or no sand at all. So we're just, we're still gonna keep it at three hundred. So that's three hundred. Uh, yeah, let's just say you're gonna spend about three hundred on just the tank, rock, the sand, and the light. But the livestock, it's it costs a lot more. This this one's cost usually these guys cost like forty dollars per head. Um, these ones I spent ten bucks. 10, 10, 10. That one was 20. This one was 80, the Roger in the back. This one I spent 10. This one I spent 100 bucks on these guys. But like I said, minus the coral, like you could buy just $10 pieces of coral, like how I am. And then the guy in the back over here that you can't really see, that guy was $10. The anemone is worth 200. Minimum, 140. Um, a really small one, you might be able to find one for 80 bucks. Uh, on average, on a thing like this, you're going to spend like about, uh, let's say fully stocked, how I am, probably like 500 bucks. Uh, fully stocked, how it is right there. But um, this little tank over here, um, I bought it for 50 bucks. The light, like I said, it's 130. Um, but if you buy the one with the mount, it's twenty dollars more. It's probably worth it. I I didn't buy it because I didn't have anywhere to mount the 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 fucking thing either way. Um, but let's say fifty and fifty. That's two hundred bucks for this tank. Um, the rock maybe like ten bucks. This coral I I started with just one of them, but now look how many I got. I like I got like fuck. I can't even count one, two, three, four. Maybe like five of these heads in there. I don't know. I can't count them all, but I can see four distinct ones. And then this one, it's it's a it's kind of like a cousin. That that one, like I said, they they cost forty about an average forty bucks, but some of them are worth a lot more. And then this guy, I bought it for fuck. I think it was thirty bucks. I I, I can't remember. Maybe even ten bucks. I can't remember. But um, oh yeah, the, these guys I bought. Two polyps for 20 bucks. Now I got a shit ton of them. But normally they're like 20 bucks a head. Uh, I can't imagine how much that colony is. Maybe like 150, maybe 200 bucks total for all the polyps on there. But like I said, you just need a little piece of it. You don't need to buy the whole fucking colony. But yeah, like I said, just the tank itself with the rock and everything, 200 bucks for this one. Uh, this one, like I said, it. Probably like you're gonna spend maybe closer to 500 total for like a fully stocked tank and shit. But like I said, the tank itself was like 180, 200 bucks, and then the light, uh, 130. I didn't buy the mount again. I didn't buy the mount. And then the rock, you're gonna spend like 50 bucks on the rock or so. Oh, let's say 50 bucks on rock and sand. There you go. So you're looking about. Uh, what, 200 plus 130, that's three something. Uh, let's say around 350, maybe 400 bucks on just the rock, rock tank stand. I mean, the rock, the tank, and the light, and the sand, around like 400 bucks. With all the livestock, like I said, it's a lot more. But, um, that's how much it costs, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I keep hitting with the Aptasia X, but it comes back. Yeah, Atkins. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I don't use the Aptasia X, because you're basically throwing poison in the water, and then it doesn't really kill that shit. I mean, me, I just throw in the hydroxide, even though it's going to pick up the pH of the aquarium, but fuck it, you know what I mean? Um, you're always going to kind of have the problem with chemical, with using chemicals to kill the Aptasia, because I can see two little ones that I missed. I might try to kill those shits next time. 
I remember there was a big one in there, but <laughs> I straight up fucking put a whole bunch of chemicals on it. Okay, I'll order the rabbit fish soon. Yeah, Charlie's Reef, uh, that rabbit fish, man, I love that. The, search it up if it's the type of fish you want to get. But that yellow one, it's the cheapest one, and it's fucking my favorite one. And then at nighttime, it changes color. It changes like the like a rock color. It kind of like spots and shit. It looks pretty cool when it's sleeping and shit. Um, and then I think it's pretty cool how it kind of camouflages with the rock during the, the nighttime hours or when it's stressed out. And then when it's and then during the lights on, it it turns yellow. I think that's pretty badass. Um, all you need is one, but if you want to have like a school, you could go, maybe order a few. But um, one's all you need, especially on a fifty. It's a pretty small tank. Uh, all you need is one rabbit fish. And I think that's why they call them rabbit fish because they fucking eat a lot of fucking algae. But I really don't know. I'm at work and not supposed to be on my phone, but. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, Filthy Rich, bro. Thank you for taking the risk for the team, man, um, and for being a true supporter, bro. Honestly, man. <laughs> hey, but thank you, man. My crayon was also too expensive. Yeah, Charlie's Reefs. I know some. Honestly, I had a 65-gallon Reef Ready tank. I spent like around five to $10,000 on that motherfucker. Like, to stock it up and all that shit, the rock. Fuck, dude. I wish I knew then what I know now, and I would have saved a lot of money. I wish there was somebody like me back then. Fucking, that I could follow or some shit. You know what I mean? But like I said, I wish I knew what I know now about aquariums and shit. I have around $200 of rock in my aquarium. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> yeah, like this little tank, the amount of rock in here is probably like 50 bucks. <laughs> and it's a small ass little tank. It's only 14 gallons. A, a 50 gallon tank, you can spend like around either two to $500 on rock alone. I spent 100 in rock for my 10 gallon, but um, also half of it's Carob Sea Life Rock. <laughs> yeah, see the fucking rock. I always tell people, besides the tank and the light, the rock is going to be your next biggest purchase of the fucking tank. <laughs> but hey, no lie, man. Um, sometimes I feel like it's better to go artificial rock than um, true rock from the ocean. Because this is real rock from the ocean, but I already had it, so I didn't invest in it. I already had it. It's probably like 10 years old and shit. It's just 10 for Acropora. Oh, yeah, uh, Charlie's Reef, where I'm at. Uh, you could even look at my Instagram or even ask uh, Atkins. He saw it. Um, they sell $10 frags of Acroporas, Digitatas, um, Milliporas. They got a $10 section on SPS Coral. So that's where I buy, bought them. You know what I mean? I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on on Acros, but the PC Rainbow, I heard it's like 50 to 100 bucks. I only paid $10 for it. It's in the back. It's hard to see it. I only paid $10 for it. Um, this Millipora, if it lives, it has no name. So if it actually starts growing and shit, I'm going I'm to name it whatever I want. Um, maybe you guys could help me name it if it grows. And then the Green Slimer was also 10 bucks. They sell $10 Green Slimers. Um, but yeah, man, 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks. I know a lot of people are fucking surprised and shit, but I thought everybody did that shit. But um, I guess not. But yeah, it was ten bucks. Oh yeah, look at this hermit crab man doing its job cleaning my Barra Bankies. These are two Barra Bankies. Oh, Bauer Bankies, my bad. The Bauer Bankies, man. I love these shits. Hermit crabs doing his job right there. Like I said I'm gonna get more hermit crabs or throw those Australia snails in here. But like I said, I don't want to throw the Australia snails because they're smaller and I don't want the hermit crabs to kill them and shit. <laughs> Fuck it though. And one piece of live rock from the fish store. Oh yeah, and then if you buy the established rock at a store, man, they charge you even more. If they got if they grab it from the display. I bought no live rock for my aquarium. Uh, 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 uh. Honestly, I just buy dry base rock. 
um, or just dry live rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what I like to use. That's how I did this tank. I just use the dry shit. If you buy stuff that's growing organisms on it, even if you're when you're cycling, a lot of that shit's gonna die off either way. I spent ten dollars on my tank from Petco, and money was it a dollar per gallon cell? Oh, with a dollar per gallon cell, yeah. Also, if if you go online and you look at that tank on on their website, they'll match the price. So their website they sell it also for like a dollar a gallon or so. Even if they don't have that dollar per gallon sell, show them the the website their website to the cashier and they'll match the price. So I, that's how I buy a lot of shit from Petco. With the big tank, I've got cyano and aptasia and brown pom poms in my one hundred gallon. Damn. Yeah, right now I feel you, bro. <laughs> the Sayado is not as bad, but the Aptasia, fuck. Aptasia is really suck. <laughs> it does. Hold on, let me check this real quick. All right, there you go. Sorry, yeah. Sorry about that. I guess I'm Tasia. I use my laser. Oh yeah, Rainer, dude. I want to get that fucking laser, man. Um, I'm tired of looking at this algae. I mean, the I only got a small bit of Aptasia now. I don't have that big ass one anymore, but I do see them uh, pop up here and there. Laser beam of death. <laughs> yeah, dude, those lasers actually do work pretty good. But it's a fish only tank with the Aptasia eating foul fish. Hey, does a foul fish actually eat the Aptasia? I, I heard it's it, it's like a 50 50 kind of shit. Name it Sykes. <laughs> I wish my reef store had a $10 coral section. The cheap they have is 25 bucks. Damn. Yep. I bought this one for the dragon head for 20 bucks. And again, that fucking algae, man. That's that's why I don't like when I have an algae problem. I don't like corals that have a skeleton, honestly. Unless it's euphilia. Euphilia tend to manage it a lot better, but it starts growing on them, and they're gonna start doing shit like what I did with this guy, fucking putting peroxide in that bitch and scrubbing the fuck out of it. I got two Stylophora frags for 15 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, I, I, I get those Stylos for 10 bucks, but I didn't put one in my tank. I probably should, but the way they grow, they go pretty fat. and It's a small little tank. But I don't know. Acropora can also be cheap. Yeah, man, these Acros, man, they sell them cheap, bro. And I say, if you don't believe me, just uh, look in the description and go to my Instagram. And you'll see that shit. But yeah, man. Acroporas, Anarchopora, what is it called? Anarchopora, some shit like that. Uh, Millies, fucking Digitatas, Encrusting Montes, um, all that shit, 10 bucks. This year I spent about 900 euros on stones. Hashtag Air Rock. <laughs> Henry Itukohos, where she at? Oh, she dropped by earlier, but then um, I don't know where she's at. Brenda, where are you? We need you. <laughs> yeah, I love Brenda, man. She's really cool. And like I said, she she supports the channel, man. She donates to the channel, and like I said, um, she donate she donated so far twenty five dollars to buy a scale. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that triple beam balance soon. I just need 45 bucks to go, and like I said, I'm going to buy that triple beam balance. And then I'm going to show you guys mixing the, the salt. Because remember, this is the salt I use, guys. I know my website's down, but this is the salt that I use for my tank. Um, I just calculate all the, all the chemicals so I don't have to fuck with it. But I definitely need a new scale. Yeah, my coral store is also really expensive, but I bought it from the hobbyist now. I do have a separate quarantine tank because I trust no one near my reef. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, I wish I had a little quarantine tank also, but I got nowhere to put it. Um, but that's a smart idea, man, because especially 
those vermitted snails are the worst. Um, fuck. If I had vermitted snails in here, I'd rather just take out all the rock, dry that shit out for like good two weeks, and then restart the whole tank. Fuck that. I, I hate vermitted snails. That's the only thing I really don't like. Mine sometimes. <laughs> but mine likes to eat zoas. Ah, oh, dude, no way. Fuck. There goes your, uh, your Rasta zoas right there. Fucking foul fish. Yeah, I mean... I heard the same thing with people have trouble with the copper band butterflies. They they sometimes won't eat the Aptasia where they start eating some of their coral. The only thing I, I I probably wouldn't put near a copper band butterfly is a uh, is a what do you call it? The clam, those expensive clams. Because I used to feed clams to copper uh, copper band butterflies because sometimes they don't want to eat anything else. But these were wild caught, so I don't know. But I had to feed it whatever it could eat. So I just fed them half-shell uh, mussels and clams and oysters and shit like that. Or shellfish. I'm, or bivalves, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to send you some cash so you can pick up $10 frags and send them to me. <laughs> yeah, bro, fucking send the cash and just pay for the shipping or fucking... Um, I can't remember what's above California if it's Washington or Oregon. Hey, bro, are you the next state above me? Above California, I always forget if it's Washington or Oregon. Uh, but whatever the fuck. It might be even cheaper just to drive it to you. <laughs> Fucking shipping, dude. Oh, actually, I got the business deal with FedEx. I might be able to ship it to you cheaper. But yeah, man, those $10 frags, bro. Fucking. There's actually a LPS and soft coral. Um, Ten dollar section. Next time I'll do a video on it. I mean, a small little fragment or video clip. I don't know what to call it on Instagram and shit. They got pretty cool. They got two ten dollar sections of the soft and LPS corals. They got ten dollar A cans also. <laughs> SPS and LPS get eaten up by my trigger and the orange spot fall fish. Oh, that really sucks. That does suck. You can only keep what? Soft corals and shit. Minus the polyps. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing with certain fish. But like I said, um, I've kept the trigger in my reef, but I always have, have had it, what's it called? Well fed and shit. Um, I've, I've seen puffers, like a... Uh, what are they called? Porcupine puffers or some shit like that in, in reefs. I've seen that shit before. Um, yeah, there's certain certain predators. I remember having... Well, I like a predator tank. I like have a an eel, a lionfish, some triggers, a puffer, surgeon fish in the in the reef. It's always, it's always pretty pretty crazy to see in the tank. I remember when we when I used to work at a uh, local fish store, fucking um, what do you call it? The we had a puffer that was I wouldn't call it reef safe, but it wasn't eating none of the corals or anything. And then the the store owner fucking sold that shit. And then I, I remember getting pissed off, like why the fuck you sell that shit? <laughs> uh, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, why the fuck are you selling the fucking puffer? I mean, fuck it. Just because it's your fucking friend. Fuck your friend. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I remember saying that shit because I was like, fuck that. Why are you fucking selling a, a fucking fish that's not eating coral? And it's like drawing customers to fucking the store because they're, they're seeing a puffer that's not eating all the coral and shit. But yeah, I remember that day. I remember a lot of shit that I, I remember a lot of fucking stories from a pe local fish store. All right, let me get that fucking. That's why I don't like having the hermit crabs and snails together. This guy's already messing with this snail. There you go. 
That's why I'm a little bit iffy about throwing those uh, small Australia snails in here. My A can is receding still. I see a lot more skeleton now. Ah, that sucks, bro. Hey, bro, go to Petco, man. Grab this shit. Watch, man. Grab this shit at Petco. It might just have an infection or something. Just grab that shit. Um, it's like 10 bucks, 13 bucks. And like I said, I, I would definitely grab this. I bought this one at Petco. And if you go to their website, if it's cheaper, they'll they'll price match it for you. But buy this little reef dip shit at Petco. That's that's where I bought this one. And it'll help. It helps with your corals when they're when they're not doing so hot. That reminds me, I'm gonna dose these two elements in the in the tank. Cause every water change, I try to add these shits in the water. Bam. All right, so like I said, this is the interperoxyl brush. I'm gonna put it away for next time. I'm gonna close it up. So I'm gonna add some iodine and some uh, essential elements or trace elements and amino acids and shit. No, no, I got, oh, you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, you can't see because of the... Hold on, I'm going to take the comment out just so I could... Uh, you guys can see the what I'm doing. Right, that's why I always measure with this shit. Cause... Yeah, fuck, I'm going to put the whole thing. Probably dosing away a little bit way too much iodine, but fuck it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna throw iodine in there so it could kill some of the bacteria. And then on this one I probably double it or triple it. There you go. I'm gonna add it. I added a little bit extra just because I remember last time I did a water change, I forgot to add these shits in there. But um, like I said, iodine, it helps your inverts grow and like hermit crabs and shit like that, molt, um, shrimps and shit like that. Essential elements and trace elements. Um, I always add a little bit of this ever since I even started. And I know it has a little bit, of, I think it has a little bit of uh, amino acids in there too, but amino acids is some biological shit. This one, I think, is just... I don't know what the fuck this is again, but... Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's just minor elements. Lithium chloride, magnesium chloride, cobalt chloride, iron, manganese, nickel chloride, potassium chloride, potassium iodine, sodium, molly, was it molybdate, molly some shit like that. Strontium chloride, zinc, copper, potassium, bromide. Yeah, I like that bromide in there. But anyways, I added a little bit of this shit too. But these are the only things I really dose in there. Um, there's different essential elements and amino acids you could use. But um, yeah, that's what I put. Hold up, guys. Uh, I would get a humpback grouper as a gift, but it's already fully grown. Oh, damn, yeah. And then if you have other groupers, <laughs> sometimes they attack each other. And then if it's full, if you have a fully grown grouper, it might try to swallow some of the fish you have in there. All right, let me put shit away. Hold on.
All right, there you go. Oh yeah, I also add a little bit of, sorry, some baking soda, a little bit of baking soda to the, to the filter stock, just for the pH and shit. Alkalinity. And we're done. Well, that's officially the whole water change. Every time I do a water change. Oh, let me grab this flipper magnet and take it out. There you go. Yeah, that little flipper magnet's pretty cool. I forgot to clean my uh my small tank with it. But bam, guys. And yeah, guys, put, start putting your questions in and everything because I might start ending the live pretty soon. Maybe like in five to ten minutes. I think he could eat almost any of my... <laughs> I think he could eat... Almost all my fish, yeah. That's the thing with groupers, man. They grow pretty big. There's a lot of pretty nice gr groupers out there. The panther grouper is pretty cool if you like a black and white fish. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of groupers out there. Oh, there's a bumblebee grouper. That shit was pretty cool. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of groupers out there. But damn, man, I'm starting to see some of the algae and shit, man. I'm, I'm getting tired of that shit. That's why I made this video. But for sure, I noticed the algae is kind of gone on there. Or it is gone. I just got to hope that Green Slimer recovers. Because I noticed this side looks pretty cool, the left side. But that little bit on the right side, I, I don't know. I don't want to buy another frag of Green Slimer just to let the same shit happen. I might try to get rid of all the algae first. Hey, HCB, just dropping by to show some love. Have a great day, G. Uh, thank you, Nay. I'll see you on the next podcast that we <laughs> that we see or whatever. But thank you for dropping by, honestly. Um, even if it's just for like a minute or two, just to show support. I really appreciate that, honestly. Um, thank you so much, Nay. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget to rate it, man. Fucking put a thumbs up, thumbs down. I really don't give a shit. Um, just rate the, the comment. And then if you're watching this after the live, fucking subscribe to this bitch. <laughs> fucking subscribe to the channel, man. I got 140 subscribers as of right now, and um, man, I appreciate every single one of you that subscribed and shit. I honestly never thought I was gonna pass 100. You know what I mean? Um, I'm hoping to honestly get a, a thousand subs so I could put a little donate button on my live chat. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't have one, but I do got a cash app and all that crap in the bottom. In the description, I also have an orange dotty bag, so no grouper for me. May dwarf one, yeah, maybe a little dwarf one for sure. Yeah, that dotty bag's definitely gonna be um, a nice little bit of food for it. Uh, oh, that's the same comment. But seriously, guys, um, I appreciate everything that you guys are uh, fucking tuning in and all that shit. But yeah, guys, I'm just showing you the struggles and tribulations of the fucking of my fish tank in here. Like I said, I, I really like my little one, my little tank a lot more. Um. This big one, like I said, just minus the algae. Otherwise, it would, it would be pretty cool. I wouldn't have a lot of these problems that I'm having. Um, but for sure, like I said, um, 
one step at a time. And like I said, if you guys see my earlier videos of this tank, damn, I got a huge ass algae problem. <laughs> I don't know, but slowly but surely. And like I said, I wish I had more water flow. Maybe add an extra power head in here. I don't know, but that's definitely a, one of the limiting factors of this tank. But yeah, guys, I'm hoping you guys are having a successful tank. And like I said, I'm probably just going to end the live and all that. But like I said, um, just submit your last question, and then if you have any questions, make sure you post a comment in my uh, comment section. But I'm already thinking about a next video I'm doing. I'm gonna do. Um, well, I already got a few videos in, in mind that I'm, I have to do. One of them being uh, doing that water change on that fresh water with just tap water. But uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna fill it up with tap water and then see how the fish react. I'm, I'm of course going to put a little bit of salt in there just to relieve some of the stress out, but I really don't trip on these, uh, or I really don't like this uh, tap water at where I'm at. I want artificial corals. Does anyone have a tip? <laughs> yeah, when you want to clean them, bro, throw them in a, in a solution of water and bleach or water and vinegar, something like that, and go clean them right up, bro. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm looking at this acro, man. It's picked up some algae that's swinging in there or like it got stuck in there and shit. Fuck. Like I said, algae fucking sucks. But I'd rather have an algae problem over an aptasia problem and over, over a fucking vermitted snail problem. I got tangs. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Rainer, I, I know you, you had a, quite a few tangs. I forgot which ones you had, but they were pretty cool. Oh, yeah, guys, and I've been thinking about it. I think I might do a Saturday Night Lives all the time. <laughs> that sounds fucking funny. But, yeah, I might every Saturday I'm thinking about doing Lives at Night. So expect the live maybe around 11-ish, earliest 10, but... Um, the latest, maybe 12, 1 o'clock, but um, definitely expect a live every night on Saturday. That's going to be one of my set schedules for sure, um, a live on Saturday, unless I change it. But I think that's what it's going to be for everybody that likes the nighttime lives, um, live at 8. Because I know, uh, I mean, <laughs> live Saturday at night. Because I know a lot of people like my nighttime lives and shit. Now I got a powder blue, a selfin, and a tomini, and a gold rim tang. Hell yeah, bro. Thank you, Rainer, for sure, man. That's a that's a nice selection of tangs, man. Hell yeah, I love late night streams. Yeah, yeah, Atkins. Um, there might be some that I squeeze in, a bit in between the week, but for sure, I'm going to make Saturday a nighttime live or Saturday night lives and shit. Um Talking about anything and everything, because you guys know me. I don't give a fuck what it is. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we'll talk about it. Whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. Even if it's, especially if it's not reef related, I'll talk about anything. But yeah, man. Yeah, I can uh, stay tuned. Like I said, Saturday, every Saturday, every night, nighttime lives, man. I sold my Achilles. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember you told me, man. And it's crazy because that's your uh, profile picture. Oh, Rainer, that's really cool. Tanks are probably my favorite saltwater fish if I can't ever get a bigger tank. <laughs> yeah, th they're my favorite also, man. I really love, honestly, if I had a selection of fish, I really love the combination of a yellow tang, blue tang, and a flame angel. It's like red, blue, and yellow at, in the same aquarium, bro. That shit is fucking solid. And then if you want to add a little bit extra yellow, add a little yellow rabbit fish, uh, yellow what's it called yellow fox space rabbit fish damn man that's a fucking nice fucking fish and then if if i had to choose a ras i'll probably choose a yellow chorus ras the yellow one 
that shit's pretty badass too. Um, like I said, those three colors, like I said, that the flame angel, blue tang, and yellow tang, dude, those three fucking combinations of color in the tank swimming, fucking beautiful. That's what I had in my 65, dude. That was the best fucking fish, like selection of fish I had that really popped up, like really popped out or whatever. But now you can't even get a fucking flame angel anymore. Why do they sell? Why did he sell the Achilles? Uh, I forgot what Rainer said last time. The new owner wanted to pay f- well for it. <laughs> That's always a good one, bro. Sell it while sell it while it's hot. <laughs> I mean, me personally, I would sell it for almost double the price and then go get a new, another one, a smaller one. But yeah, sometimes, guys, I feel like I wish I had a bigger tank also. I I would just get a rabbit fish, dude, and not fucking worry about this algae and shit. (laughs) Or or a a surgeon fish or whatever. But damn, like I said, so far, everything's doing good. An enemy still fucking under that rock. So I fed it yesterday. Um, damn, I'm still waiting for that enemy to poke its head out, though, for sure. Hold on, guys. I'm checking out my, my Millie right there. Yeah, the Millie looks all right. It's still cool. Bam. May I may I get a gem tank? Oh, you might get a gem tank, bro. That's pretty cool. Have little dots on it and shit. Yeah, there's a lot of fish I would get. But like I said, if I had to choose any fish that I could have right now, those three fish... But I'll probably get like two of each and shit. Like two blue two uh two blue tangs, two yellow tangs, and two flame angels. But honestly, back then I always wanted an all flame angel tank. That shit was that shit would be badass. Nothing but flame angels or another one are copper band butterflies. I have nothing but copper band butterflies in my tank. Or maybe even uh nothing but yellow tangs or nothing but blue tangs and shit. I don't know. Usually I like to have a whole bunch of the same fish in the tank. Got it on sale. <laughs> yeah. They got it on sale. That's dope. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the live now. Um, <laughs> I ran out of shit to talk about what I already did, everything I was supposed to do. But yeah, um, drop last minute things and I'll just be reading them and all that shit. But it's going to be the, pretty much the end of the live now. One thing I don't like about the gem thing, how to tell if it has ick, if it looks like it's covered in ick, but it's just patterned. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes ick goes on their eyes, so that, that could be one tell t- one way to tell, but no, nah, man, you can see the little bumps on it still. <laughs> but yeah, visually, fucking the little speckles on it. <laughs> That's some funny shit. With what I got for my Achilles, I can afford one, but no longer invite a friend over to my place. He got my Achilles. <laughs> yeah, bro, I feel you, G. <laughs> But definitely, like I said, uh, I, I just sell the bigger one and go get a little one. I have maybe some money left over. Smaller dots. Yeah, you'll see the small dots for sure. Compared to the, what's called on the gem tang. You could tell if it has it. I remember, but that was a pretty good, uh, <laughs> nice little joke, though.
But all right, guys, I think I'm in the live now. Um, just put your last comment, but pretty much this is the end of live. I'm just going to be on here maybe for like the next 30 seconds to a minute. Just so you guys could enjoy the tank a little bit, and then we're pretty much done. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and shit. I may or may not go live later on tonight. Like I said, every Saturday night, I'm going to do a live for sure. And make sure you join in for that shit. Also, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, make sure you fucking subscribe to the channel. Atkins, thanks. Have a great day, everyone. All right, Atkins, for sure, bro. I'm just getting the live. Read you guys' last two comments. Look at the dots. That got it. I can get him cheaper. <laughs> for real, it's huh? Just dip him in methylene blue. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, man. Um, thank you guys for joining and shit. Um, make sure you join the next live. Put your notifications, all that bullshit. Put a thumbs up, everything. Fucking subscribe if you're not. But I'll see you guys next time for sure. And thank you for watching, guys. Oh, the Herm. Hey, bro. Thank you for joining, man. Listening like always. Thank you, man. I know you always support, bro. By listening, I know you don't like to post comments and shit. But thank you for listening, man. Um, it really means a lot, bro. Um, hopefully you saw, you caught the first of the live. Like, always, I always do the first part of the live. Always uh, everything that I'm supposed to do. And then I just read the comments and then just talk about everything with you guys. Chat it up. Um, but I, I know you're always listening, bro. Thank you, man. Honestly, it means a lot, bro. But yeah, this is the end of the live, guys. And see you guys next time, man. And thank you, Herm, for posting at the last second. <laughs> thank you, G. You need to give me an email so I can pick up the Red Planet, got the frag for you. We can talk some reefing. Oh, yeah, bro. Hold on. Let me put my email. Thank you for reminding me. There you go. Hey, I put my, my email. Rainer, thank you, man. The Herm, uh, there's my... Uh, what do you call it? My email, man. Shit, I might even end up going live at, at, at your place. <laughs> Fucking do a little interview or some shit. Nah, I'm just messing with you. But for sure, man, we'll, we'll chat it up, everything, man. I definitely want to at least uh, take a few pictures of some of your corals. I've I seen your tanks and shit. They look pretty cool. But yeah, man, uh, I'll, pick, I'll pick up the Red Planet for sure. I think I got a new spot since the enemy moved. <laughs> Anybody else that wants to email me, that's the fucking email. Um, hcbchemistry at gmail.com. Also got the hcbphysics at gmail.com, but don't email, don't email me there. Um, just do the chemistry one.
Snapshot it. We'll get you the info. All right, G. Let me know for sure. Um, uh, at the same day that, that I get the Red Planet, I think I'm going to get a whole bunch of hermit crabs for the algae. <laughs> but thank you, man. Honestly, sorry, I'm already getting phone calls and shit. But yeah, guys, thank you for joining. And that's the end of the live. Thank you for joining. All right. See you guys next time.